things we've been hearing from small businesses who, when this first began, had to close because of local requirements or whatever their circumstance, they didn't have the cash flow for keeping, retaining their employees. Obviously, the way the package was constructed, you were incentivizing people to hold on to their employees. What would you say to small business that was unable to keep its employees and how they fit into the package? You can hire the people back. So uh, the Treasury Department and SBA has been working around the clock. Uh, we will have a program up and running on Friday where not only the existing SBA lenders, but FDIC banks, credit unions, fintech lenders will be able to make loans. Those loans will cover eight weeks of workers' salary plus additional money for overhead. If you let your workers go, you bring back your workers. For every worker you have, uh, that portion of the loan is forgiven. So I encourage all small business, that's about half of the U.S. private payroll, go back and hire your workers because the government is paying you to do that. Do you get a sense that if the president's decision is ultimately that these social distancing steps need to remain in effect for a longer period, how do you see that impacting the return to an economy going forward? Do we need more time? My, my number one objective is now delivering to the American workers and American companies the needed money that will put this economy in a position where they can get through the next eight to ten weeks. The medical professionals will advise the president on the timing of where we are with the economy and with the medical issues. The president's number one objective is the health of American population and we will do everything in our power to support the American economy during that period of time. But Mr. You Secretary, what is your advice to the President as he tries to figure out the guidelines and how to reopen this country back? I mean, yes, there's the health perspective, but what is your advice and how long can the economy ride this out? My, my number one focus right now, and I want to thank both the Senate and the House for working around the clock to pass bipartisan support to help American workers and American business. My number one objective is to put that money to work. Uh, I am on the task force. I'm listening to the health professionals. They'll be advising the president on that, and uh, we'll see what is the right timing. Are you confident that the government mechanisms to get direct payments to families can happen quickly? We know about direct deposit, but also paper checks. What's your latest assessment on when people will it will happen quickly because it does no good to the American public if we're delivering this in three, four months. They need this now. So uh, we've, we've put out very aggressive timing that we will meet. As I said, this Friday we will have a, an entire new SBA loan program. Within three weeks we'll have direct deposit into people's accounts. For people where we don't have their direct deposit information, there'll be a web-based application. They can upload it. And for people who don't do that, uh, well, there'll be checks in the mail, but we're going to try to get as much money into direct deposit as we can. That's the fastest way of getting hardworking Americans their money. So you said, I'm, I'm sorry, so I came a little late. So three weeks from uh, this Friday would be the first time that those direct deposits? Three, three weeks from today. Okay. Within three weeks. Great. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I appreciate your time.